Here are the three components to an HTTP response. The first one is the status code, the second is the header, and the third is the body. So the status code is a three digit number returned by the server in response to a client's HTTP request. So common status codes include the following, 200, which means that your request is successful, that's what we're going for. 400 means that it's a bad request, indicating that the server cannot process a request because it was either corrupted, malformed, or just invalid. This is actually a client side error, meaning that the issue stems from your device, browser, or the way you constructed the request rather than the server itself. A 401 status code means unauthorized, which means that the authentication, something is up with your authentication, which typically means that your API key is wrong. 403, forbidden. This may mean that your account doesn't have access to the data you are requesting. 404, not found. You could get this error if you type in a URL that doesn't exist, for example. And then 500, which is server error. It means that it's an error on the server side, but it's important that you understand these status codes because if you get a 500 error, that means it's an error on the server side, which means you don't want to keep putting in requests unnecessarily or make drastic changes to your workflows if it isn't even your fault, right? That could cost you tokens and could really set you back if you're changing things unnecessarily when it's not even your fault. So really important to understand understand the status codes exactly and exactly what they mean. It's really helpful for debugging. So the second component of a response is the header. The header gives more detailed context to the request. Some common response headers may include the content length or the content type. And then the third component of a response is the body, which is the body is the actual data that's returned. It can be in different formats and it's specified in the header. It can be HTML, JSON, 